up Blade Fam? Today we're going to be doing a video of what it's like to be passing on the blades to my son Philip. Philip has been rollerblading with our family since he was very little and I thought it'd be an awesome opportunity to share with you guys some of his uh, thoughts and things that he's experienced in rollerblading. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, Philip. so how long have you been rollerblading? I've been blading for about four to five years. <laughs> nice, so how old were you when you started? I first started when I was 10 years old. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Um, what did you think about it? I know, I remember you doing a lot of hill bombs when you were oh. little with uh, Brock and your friends. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. Uh, every now and then I'd get a crazy crash, but it was worth it, definitely. <laughs> All right. I just love the feel of hauling. <laughs> yeah, you hauling like to skate wind. fast for sure. <laughs> Well, who's your favorite rollerblader? I would say Jeff Stockwell. <laughs> yeah, do you? I really dig his techie skating and all the stuff he does. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the best that have ever done it, huh? We have Shred Till You're Dead skate park tours, and uh, Philip grew up watching that on repeat. Um, so once he got to the skate park, specifically Memorial Park, he was so excited to jump in bowls. So uh, shout out Jeff Stockwell. So there's a lot of grinds in rollerblading. I, you know, I've, I've Notice that you've been working on top sides and such. What's your favorite grind? I would say my favorite trick is Unity. <laughs> really? That's really cool. What, a, what, what about the Unity grind do you like the most? I really like it because I, I like the way boot tricks feel, like when you're on the grind or the rail, it feels like you're surfing on it. Or, And also the whole message behind Unity itself. I believe in one people. We're all one family in my mind, so. So Philip, you're 15 years old, you've been skating for about five years. What, it's, what is it like to skate with only older guys that have been blading? You know, there's not another kid in this town that rollerblades your age. Um, it's, it's a very unique experience for me. Like when I see older people who have matured in skating or have experience and just wisdom from skating, it really motivates me because I'm seeing these these uh, older dudes throwing, and women, <laughs> throwing big tricks and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, we get a lot of juice from you too though, because you know, you're the young blood. So for us, seeing somebody at your age skating, it really means a lot because it gives our, our sport or our community uh, a future, you know? Makes you feel young again. <laughs> uh, no, I still feel old well. watching you skate. <laughs> <laughs> So what keeps you motivated and inspired to continue rollerblading? I would say just the, the love for the sport and how I, I want to just contribute to rollerblading. It's a, it's a great community and I just want our blading to stay alive and thrive and spread the, spread the love to other people who might want to take part in this sport. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So you have a lot of passions outside of rollerblading. What are those? Um, I really love uh, working out, doing calisthenics because of you know who. Yeah. <laughs> also, I do really love music. I play guitar. <laughs> I dabble with the keyboard. And I, I do some singing and rapping. Really cool. Um, so you play guitar. What style of guitar or what, what type of 
music do you enjoy playing? Um, I do like playing classic rock. Uh, I, I dabble with lots of genres because that makes you a more whole musician a, a, of itself. Um, but like examples like Metallica or uh, Iron Maiden, those kind of older right rock on. bands. <laughs> so is there anything that you would tell another young up-and-comer or any kids your age or younger about rollerblading, what would you tell them? I would just say keep on going. I know sometimes skating can get a little frustrating when you're not quite landing your tricks right on a certain day or you just it's hot out, you're not feeling it or whatever. Just push through, It's it gets better. <laughs> and that's all I can say. I'll, in the long run, it gets better. Yeah, that's, that's absolute truth. Again, this is our son, Philip Acosta. We're super proud of him. He's been rollerblading for five years, and you know, I've seen this kid go from strapping him on to lacing 720s now. So it's really awesome. Super grateful to be a part of this experience, you know. That was always the dream, was to be able to pass on, you know, what I loved and what my wife loved onto our son and rollerblading of course was on the top of those things. Thank you guys again for all the love and support and for tuning in on this video. Uh, if you haven't already hit that like or subscribe button and hit that little bell if you want to get all the notifications on when we put out our videos. Much love from the Acosta Blade family. Aloha. Aloha.